double crunches. You're going to come back like this. You're going to extend your body. Okay. And you're going to pull in your torso and your knees at the same time. Okay. Come back right down. Right here. Just like that. If you can't go down that far, then just do a shorter range of motion. That's your modification. So you just be like right here. And you would just do a shorter range of motion. That's not so difficult. Or just do like the lower part. Like that. So you're still going to get your core. Just make sure you're leaning back far enough that you can feel the gravity pulling and you can feel your upper abs contract. Your back lunge with a toe kick. You might want a chair to help stabilize you. So back lunge with the right leg. You're going to come back with your right leg. Lunge. Both knees are at 90 degrees. Okay? None of this. Like right here. Okay? All the way down. You're going to come. You're going to kick your toe right back down into the lunge. So if you need a chair, you're just going to hold on to the chair right here. Back like that. If you keep your core nice and tight, that's going to help you stabilize. Okay? Then we're going to use that same, the right leg, and you're going to do a side lunge right here with the knee up. Side lunge, knee up. Okay? Then you're going to do the knee clap and push ups if you can. Okay? So I'm giving you knee push ups. So you're right here. You guys know my rule with push ups. You gotta keep your butt down. Aaron tried to do them in a minute ago. He was like this. Just tell Aaron, we don't do curly push ups here. Okay, right here. You're gonna come down. Okay, so it's a plyometric push up. And give your butt up. If you can't do the knee push up, then go ahead and just, or the, sorry, the clapping push up. Then you can just do regular push ups or just regular knee push ups. If you've got your chair, you can do your incline push ups on the chair. Right here. Again, all of them, you've got to keep your butt down. Then you're going to do your back lunge toe kick on the left side. Kick your toe nice and high. Your hamstrings when you do that. Then your side lunge. Knee up when you do your side lunge. It doesn't go behind you. It doesn't go, you're not, a, it's, it's more like a single leg squat is what it is. Yeah. Coming down, all your weight is on this leg. This leg is just kind of hanging out here for balance. But you want to keep your chest high, okay? And you want to prevent that knee from going over that toe. This foot should be flat on the floor. It doesn't come out and move like that, okay? So when you come down, it should look like that. And then you've got sumo squats with alternating leg lifts. So sumo squats, your toes are out. You're going to come down into your squat. Go low. Push your hips back. You come up. Put your leg up. Back into your squat. And come up. Okay? Just like that. You guys, this is Tabata today. So it's 20 seconds work. 10 seconds rest. And you get how many rounds? Eight. Eight. Eight rounds. To bottle. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Twenty rounds. Aaron's gonna do twenty rounds. The rest is gonna be after eight. Do you guys have any questions? Any modifications I can do? No. Are you good.